Welcome to the airport familiarization program for the airport of Munich. All the information portrayed in this video are strictly for the flight simulation use only. The purpose of this video is to help flight simmers to fly in and out of the airport of Munich, especially on the um, ATC services like VATSIM or IVEO. Without further ado, let's start the tutorial. The airport of Munich is located in the southeastern corner of Germany, um, close to the Austrian border to the east. The terrain situation is such that within a 25 mile circle around Mike November Whiskey locator, um, we have a minimum safe altitude of 3,700 feet. Minimum radar vectoring altitudes show higher terrain, obviously, towards the south and also towards the uh, northeast. The airport has two major runways, runway 26 right, 26 left, or flying the opposite way, 08 left, 08 right. The airport has an elevation of 1,487 feet, consists of two 4,000 meters runways. Um, each of the runways has a width of 60 meters. The approach capabilities are very good. All runways have a category three approach system. The airport layout is such that you have um, two main terminal areas, terminal one and terminal two. At uh, Terminal 2, um, with the new terminal building there, you will find the Lufthansa and the Star Alliance Airlines, while on Terminal 1, you will have all other airlines uh, like Emirates, um, Ryanair, EasyJet, and so on. Further to the west, there is the cargo apron, and then uh, at apron 6, apron 7, you have the uh, Lufthansa maintenance hangars. Let's talk about the taxi procedures. Uh, first of all, for departure, when you push back, you will mostly push back either on a Whiskey 2 or Oscar 2, depending on your position on the apron. Um, on the Terminal 1 side, you might get a clearance to push to Taxiway Orange or blue or the normal taxiway. Um, taxi out then will happen via the exit points. So on the Terminal 1 area you have November 1, November 2, uh, Sierra 5 and Sierra 6. On the Terminal 2 side you have exit points uh, November 3, November 4 and also Sierra 7, Sierra 8. From there you will be cleared further towards the departure runway and uh, taxi out is normally done by taxiways November in the north and on the south side via Sierra. Uh, the inbound traffic I will talk about later. Uh, momentarily we're just talking about taxi outs. You have um, the threshold points Alpha 13, 14, 15 um, sometimes, if you like, you can have an intersection takeoff out of Alpha 12. Uh, going eastbound, it is Alpha 4, otherwise Alpha 3, Alpha 2 and Alpha 1. On the south side, expect holding points uh, Bravo 1, Bravo 2, Bravo 3. And again, intersections Bravo 4, going eastbound, going westbound, you have Bravo 12. And then normal holding points Bravo 13, 14 and 15. Do familiarize yourself with the um, routings. Um, so, for example, if you push back out of Terminal 2 south side and you are departing 26 right, you may expect a clearance like taxi via Whiskey 2, Delta 2, Oscar 2, and uh, exit November 4. Or you might get uh, taxi via Whiskey 2, Center 2, um, Delta 1, uh, November 4 or Whiskey 2, Delta 1, exit November 4. All kinds of combinations are possible. Um, be sure and be ready to uh, note down those clearances. 
Also, you obviously have some colored coded uh, taxi lines, um, orange three blue, orange uh, three orange, for example, or on the terminal one side, um, orange, uh, Oscar one orange or Oscar one blue. For arrival, um, two important things to say. One is that Alpha 7 on the uh, north side and Bravo 9 taxiway on the south side, those are the 90 degree turnoffs, are not to be used. Um, when you vacate, don't switch over to ground manually, stay on tower frequency, uh, contrary to real life procedures um, in on VATSIM or Aveo. Uh, you will be sent over to ground or if ground is not uh, manned then you will stay on the tower and in, uh, receive your taxi instructions from there. Let's have a look at the airport departure infos. Speed restrictions 250 knots indicated below flight level 100. Now that is not applicable with an airspace Charlie which is actually the case on the arrival routes. Um, if you're in doubt, uh, ask air traffic control regarding the airspeed that you should be flying. Otherwise, you can, if you want, maintain high speed. Transition altitude is uh, 5,000 feet. So transition level is usually given to you by ATIS. Transition altitude is 5,000 feet. Um, the initial climb clearance is normally flight level 70, um, according to the SRD charts. So remember to switch over from uh, QNH to standard altimeter setting when you are crossing above the transition altitude. Very important, monitor speed restrictions as shown according to the waypoints. Um, these speed restrictions have to be maintained even when you're above flight level 100 unless otherwise instructed by ATC. So for example, on this departure route, the input uh, to Quebec or to echo departure. Um, you can see that you have to maintain max 250 knots until Delta Mike 065. And um, high performance aircraft will be reaching level 100 before that waypoint. But still, even when you're above level 100, maintain max 250 knots unless you are cleared for higher air speeds by air traffic control, or in case you get a direct to input or some other waypoint then that speed restriction is cancelled as well, unless ATC says otherwise. Let's have a look at the airport arrival infos. Um, normally speed 250 uh, below level 100, however, not applicable within Airspace Charlie, which is the case on the arrival routes. Um, now as to something that a lot of pilots uh, get wrong. So when you fly into Munich, you have your filed flight plan, including a star. So when you clear it um, to fly your routing, the clearance limit is the clearance limit waypoint on the arrival routings. Do not continue past these clearance limit points unless you have been cleared a transition or you have been cleared via radar vectors. And I will show you that on the next chart. So for example, uh, you are approaching via the Anora 3 Alpha star. The clearance limit is Rokil. And if you look at the ball notes, um, one for example, um, it says, Enter holding pattern and expect GPS FMS RNF transitions or radar vectoring to final. So do not fly to the initial approach fix mic. That is only in case of lost com. So you arrive via the stars um, to Rokil and you've not received, uh, received any further clearance, then enter that holding pattern. The same applies to all the other initial approach fixes. So for example, Landu coming uh, from the northeast, uh, Napsar or Betos. Here's the example coming from the south. Um, let's say you're coming via the Oster 3 Alpha arrival. Again, your clearance limit is Betos. Do not proceed 
to Mike Uniform November shown here. That is only by ATC or in case of lost com, you are expected to fly to Betos. If you don't have clearance to continue, enter that holding pattern and await instructions. From uh, Rokil as an example, when you get cleared the transition to the landing runway, uh, let's say we have westerly configuration, so runway 26 right for landing. So coming from the north, you would be expecting 26 right. Coming from the south, you would expect 26 left, unless again, otherwise instructed by ATC or stated by the ATIS. So the transition out of Rokil would then be the Rokil 26 right RNAV transition. And then you would proceed via these waypoints all the way to the last waypoint. However, do not turn to the base or final without clearance from ATC. And you can see that it says that here, maintain track and expect radar vectoring to final approach. So the same is true for the 08 transitions, for example. If we were arriving again from Rokil and have the 08 transition, it will be via these waypoints to the last waypoint here. And again, do not turn to the base or final without clearance. Maintain the track um, westbound and expect radar vectoring to final approach. Um, Landu, if you had clearance limit Landu, then the transition would look like this. And again, last waypoint, continue on that last track. The approaches themselves are very straightforward, um, straight in, uh, no offsets out of a intercept altitude of 5,000 feet normally. Um, sometimes you might get 4,000 depending on the clearance from ATC. Missed approach um, is also straightforward, just read the text and um, fly it that way. After landing, or while landing, aim for either taxiway Alpha 5, Alpha um, 8, and uh, coming the other way on runway 26 right, yeah, Alpha 9 would be a, a great taxiway um, to get to Terminal 2. Alpha 6 or Alpha 4 would be good for Terminal 1. However, ask air traffic control if you're allowed a longer landing, um, depending on the uh, amount of traffic that is behind you you might be uh, asked or expected to vacate as soon as possible. That's about it. That's uh, all the important information about the airport of Munich. If you have any questions um, or comments, post them down in the uh, section below. Hope you've enjoyed the uh, short instructional video here for the airport of Munich. As always, those are strictly for flight simulator use only not for real life.